perfect balance between baby mode, challenging, okay. and frustrating. Ideally, okay. your game should land right in the middle there, next to Donkey Kong. But where this all gets muddled up is with the addition of multiple difficulties, scaling difficulties, overpower this techniques, exploits, ranking systems. It gets okay. really messy when you start examining what's fair, what's bullshit, what should be easier, what should be harder. There's That's so many true. variables, and it's largely subjective to each player's skill level that I don't even know where to begin with this video. It's only a five How about video. Halo 1, one of my favorite single player oh. shooters? It offers you four difficulties, which if you're a grown ass man still playing video games, still playing Halo 1, you need to cross these two off right now. Let's be real. Now playing on PC with a mouse and a keyboard, I could just barely, after about 700 deaths, just barely squeeze my way through this game on Legendary. That's it was not good. fucked up. Halo 1 on Legendary changes a man. Then I went back to Heroic and whooped the game's ass, but this right. is my problem. Which okay. difficulty did I enjoy more? Legendary was more challenging, but guns like the Assault Rifle became obsolete. Most of the time, you're forced to use the Plasma Pistol, which is... Just, I hate the Plasma Pistol. This shit is stupid. On Heroic, <laughs> You have much more freedom in how you approach the game, but yeah, after playing true. on Legendary, it just feels like a cakewalk. Yep. Oh, he, this is heroic mode, guys. This is heroic mode. Covenant are putting up a real fight. And a lot of games have <laughs> that irritating gap between kind of hard and fucking annoying. You want the game to push you to your absolute limit and force you to experiment and find out what works and what sucks is when you find out what that actually seems works just isn't that fun. Variety and options are sucked out of the game. You have these severe difficulty spikes that feel overlooked by the developers. Wow, and I've what never heard happens of that before. Is the player starts pushing back. You notice the cracks in the game's design. You uh, abuse the AI. You learn how to stop enemies from spawning. Okay. And when you push the game to its limit, sometimes it cracks. Why didn't y'all tell me that? Ruined. I Mega Man, try. Shovel Knight. These games have one fixed difficulty, so you yes. know the experience is entirely tailored around what you're playing. Yes. Without a doubt, it's the way the game is meant to be played. Yes. It doesn't always result in a perfectly tuned game. But it does okay. lend a huge sense of legitimacy to what you're doing. Players should have options in how they approach a game, but letting you pick how difficult the game is maybe is just a step too far. It's like my man Tupac says, no one man should have all that power. Bioshock 1 on hard, Uncharted Wait, 2 remake on crushing, Mass Effect 2 on insane, these difficulties just nailed it for me. I think they're perfect. But then you I have all these saying. other supplementary difficulties that end up being inferior ways to experience the game. That Those really smart very are familiar. games that are easy to pick up but difficult to master. Let the player get a hang on what's going on okay. and then continually ramp that shit up until it gets sadistic. Take Mario 64. Uh, not the hardest game ever made, but people yes, just is. go nuts on this I, game, I, man. Far I'm beyond what is game. actually expected of you. You want that depth, that margin for improvement. It keeps the okay. game alive. You don't want just a static cap where you feel like you can't get any better at the game. When you encounter a poorly designed difficulty, you start second guessing yourself. Is this all Lyric has to offer? The challenge would be nice. It's over? Oh, it's over. Whatever that was, I never want to go through it again. You say, well, if I can't lose, why okay. isn't this just a movie? Or why am I wasting so many hours Battle trying toads. to beat this one bullshit part? What, the fuck? what a piece why of shit Why am I wasting game, my dude. time playing this shitty what a game? Piece of shit why do game. I even play video games? Why do I even exist? Now, uh, I'll be honest, like, Dark Souls Kirby's gave me an existential genre, crisis. It's causing you to have an existential meltdown. Exactly. That's when you need to take a break and say, this game is too easy. I need to go play some Donkey Kong Country. Now, in this game, all I'm thinking about is, man, oh. I gotta fucking kick this beaver's ass. That's Basically, right, dude. Guys, what I'm trying to say with this video I sold that game to is that League of Legends dollars. sucks dick. True. I agreed with everything that he said in that video, especially the last part. So, this actually, like, what he's saying here actually makes a whole lot of sense. And he's saying that the added difficulties in games create a different experience and because everybody isn't experiencing the same thing 
the development of the game is either streamlined in a way that makes the game unfun with his that's like what he was saying with uh halo one that if you're playing on uh on legendary mode, you basically have to just like use the plasma pistol, deplete shields, and then shoot the elites in the head, right? You do the same thing every time. And it kind of, it pigeonholes gameplay into this like very, very small window of things that you're able to do. And the lower difficulties make it to where you can do a lot of other things. And if you only had one difficulty, you'd be able to balance the entire game around that one difficulty rather than having multiple difficulties and different levels of balance that some are frustrating or unfun or contrived. So I actually really agree with what he's saying, and uh, I think that's one of the big successes that you can see with like Dark Souls, for example, because Dark Souls was so... Yeah, we're going to watch part two, but let me finish, finish what I'm saying. Dark Souls, I think, is very successful because it's not like I can put Sin's Fortress on easy mode and just one-shot the, uh, the Snake Boys with the plus six longsword, right? I had to get something different. I had to do something new, and if I didn't do that, I wasn't going to get anywhere, and that's what was important about it. It's the same thing with the uh, the Knight Artorius, right? I did not really enjoy the progression, but the reason I didn't enjoy it was because of myself. Like, the fight itself I thought was very good, and uh, everything about it was great. It's just that I, I got myself in a bad mood because I felt like I was beating myself. And um, a lot of the examples, people saying greed, uh, I, have like, I think I have a double-click problem with my mouse because... 90% of the time, whenever I would do my second attack, uh, I, I wouldn't actually be intending to do a second attack. But uh, either way, I think having one difficulty for games is actually what's best. By the way. Okay. Second one. Difficulty in Video Games Part 2. He just came out with this today. Ah, uh, fuck! I've got to make sure that I turn it off uh, at the end of today. Okay, I'll assume I disagree with you on a while issues, but I respect your opinion, so I love uh, hearing another side. Well, that's great. I mean, I think everybody disagrees on something, right? You're never going to find somebody that you agree with on everything. But the idea is to have common grounds and discuss those differences to where you can come to a conclusion that is stronger overall, right? It's like kind of, it's like two pe Pokemon that fight against each other. Um, they gain experience, and I think it's important to discuss ideas and talk about them. Yeah, I, I'll fix the uh, the camera. I just need to make sure that I turn it off. I also have another battery ready, so I can use that one tomorrow. Okay, just a second. Let me make sure I get all this turned on and set up. Okay, second video here. During the heyday of arcade cabinets, difficulty and monetization of video games were physically intertwined. You would put a yep. quarter in the coin slot and boom, you can play the game until you run out of lives, which was often- Now you put a quarter in the game and it gets rid of the barrels. Pretty quick. For developers, the trick was to create a game that when you watched it, you would go, oh, that's so easy. The original Pac-Man is literally just one repeating level. How hard could that possibly be? Yeah. Very hard is the answer. This was truly the first sometimes survival you get it, sometimes horror you get game. Got. The ghosts are just total dickheads. Just when you think you know that the ghost thinks that you're going this way, turns out he knew you were thinking that and he went this way instead. If by some miracle you reach stage 19, you will discover that the power pellets no longer do anything. It's like at this point Wait, of the really? game, the ghosts just say to you, nope, you had your fun and now the game is over. Goodbye. Arcades were I brilliant, hated looping endless games that demanded one stupid. knee jerk reaction after another. I mean, look at this. Can you describe to me what is happening here. How do you play that? These were games designed to kill you oh, fast you still love and that suck game. down cores, and people love them. Then, in the mid-80s, we see the focus shifting back towards consoles okay. with the NES. Games okay. start to take on the structure of having a set amount there of stages, is, and with this change, there the role is. of difficulty is transformed. Now the challenge becomes, how do we stretch out a 30-minute game into something that will take months to complete? Wait, why is he pulling his pants solution? down? Ah, just put a bunch of stupid fucking bullshit everywhere. <laughs> Cheap ass one hit kills, oblique puzzles, broken enemy spawns, impossible jumps, enemies that constantly knock you off a ledge. Go dig up an NES and tell me how many of those games you can actually complete. None of them. Don't lie. Yo, have y'all ever played The Lion King? On Super Nintendo? I broke like three controllers over that fucking piece of shit bullshit game. That was the worst fucking game I ever played.
Ah, you probably can't even be Bubble Bobble, look at you. Even the titles that were directed specifically at younger children make Dark Souls look like fucking DuckTales, except that DuckTales is probably harder. Going forward, however, games <laughs> will continue to become uh, more true. and more approachable as developers Ooh, found out that people that. actually like to win. Red Dead 2 is a great modern example of this. The game okay. aims your gun for you, it steers your horse for you, it practically plays itself, and despite Wait, all of this, it is the most critically acclaimed game this year. Is it so wrong that people want to play a game without getting their dick knocked off every two seconds? No, yeah, it's I bad. don't think so. Not every game needs to be some death march, but when you try to have it both ways, you run into okay. problems. Inflated HP and damage. Selectable difficulties are commonly achieved by simply giving enemies more health and damage, but in the back of my mind, I'm always wondering how much should they have. Halo 3 is the first game in the series that tells you heroic is how the game is meant to be experienced. It just straight up says, hey, this is the real one. Those this other is ones the way are Halo is Only meant to be played. This, uh, back in Halo 2. Con 4 tells you that on- Yo, there's this one time in Halo 2, and you would get to the, uh, the Africa map. I, I don't remember, like, what Cairo or whatever. And you would walk out, and there would be, like, these little dudes with snipers. And they never don't headshot you. You walk out, dead. You walk out, dead. Walk out, dead. Dead. And I remember thinking to myself, what am I doing with my life? Whenever I got to that level on, on Legendary, I was so upset regular, your abilities in combat will be tested, which, if a dog picked up a controller with his mouth, that might be right. Veteran, though, is actually okay. pretty accurate. Okay, we got, okay, we got two grenades in here. That's, that, that, that's funny. Okay, now there's another one. All right. Wait. Oh, there's, there, there, and my own guy just picked up a grenade and <laughs> threw it next to me. <laughs> okay, now there's another grenade. We just gotta chuck hands okay, it, you know? Just Not a big deal. What killed me? When the difficulty is this blatantly artificial, it trivializes your achievements. Some games do put in more effort though. For yeah. Silent Hill 2, uh, the easier difficulties cause the puzzles to make 4% more sense. This year's Mega Man 11 is full of NES era horse shit. You have this part, and then there's this part, and then we get this. Oh no, dude, have y'all ever played Mario Maker? Whenever they started making those maps where you had to do like this perfect little jump and like the perfect fall and you had like the spiky boys at the top and on the bottom and it's like unless you went like this you were fucking dead. I, I love Mario Maker but I hate those fucking levels. It's just not fun to do and whenever I finally figure it out I'm like thank god I never have to do this again. These severe jumps in difficulty are just the result of poor design. Ideally, a game should get progressively harder as you play, Mario but the 3 reality was one of the greatest most games of ever made. <laughs> then you got Kirby. I knew he was gonna do that. Then you got Donkey Kong Country, which is like, alright, we're gonna hit you with some difficulty bumps, this game is hard as level, hard-ass barrel part, and then you get the K rule. This is where the game goes from tough but fair to tough but fuck you. If you're gonna lock me in a hell okay. fuck with a fucking Hitler bitch, then at least give me some decent checkpoints, man. Come oh, on. Wow. Undoubtedly, the cruelest part of older games okay. is how when you lose, they will just kick you all the way back to the start. Even some of the hardest yep. NES titles, like Castlevania and Ninja Gaiden, would have the courtesy that of shit only was not knocking fun, you back dude. to the start of the stage when you got hit off a ledge by a guy who spawned in midair that's uh, really that you fun. already killed. Without checkpoints, you force players to repeat large chunks of a video game, which is not only irritating, but fatal to the overall pacing. On the other hand, saturate your game with checkpoints and you lose that anxious feeling which makes challenging games so tense. The iconic okay. bonfires of Dark Souls are not only a much needed reprieve, but a glowing beacon of your progress in a that's game true. whose atmosphere is dis Heartingly oppressive. Meanwhile, Resident Evil 1, which only is a game I could where doors them. take 17 minutes to open, requires you to use an ink ribbon item every time you want to save. Accessibility? Fighting oh, this is the in a tricky spot where if you play against the computer, and this is on the hardest difficulty, keep in mind, they are just incapable of winning. Then you hop online and you fight this guy. <laughs> Team games like Overwatch yep. and Call of Duty lower the bar for entry considerably by allowing five other people to pick up your slack. And if you lose, you can just True. blame your team when you lose in a fight. Oh, game, yeah, I like, do that all the time. Dude, 
game sucks, not my fault. Many players, exactly. when they're met with a seemingly insurmountable challenge, they just True. say, fuck this. For me, that game was Bloodborne. When I played this in 2015, Ooh. I couldn't even get past the first boss. It wasn't until Ooh. last year that I actually figured out how simple these games are. Not to suggest it's easy, just simple. It's just dodge We're gonna be playing hit. that. And once you understand that it's dodge and hit, then you realize that the game ain't shit. Pac. I think it's always better to be inclusive rather than That's exclusive. True. Take Ikaruga. This game is just ridiculous. What you're staring at here is, of course, hard. Every to time I'd ever go to like an arcade, I'd always play easy. that. Alright, yeah. Now this makes okay. it much easier. It doesn't pull punches, yet if you go into the settings, it allows okay. you to have infinite lives. Now you may ask, how can a game be challenging when you can't even technically lose? Uh, like this. What? 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 I died uh, so many times on that first run through. That's and a at lot one of, point, I thought I might run out of infinite That's lives. a lot of It dots. was merely the first step. And on subsequent playthroughs, I would go, oh, wow, only 68 deaths this time. Oh, wow, 50, 20, 13. Yeah. Each time I returned to the game, I understood it a little bit better. That, that's Just about like the, way the 80s it sounds, coin yeah. ops that inspired it. The idea of accomplishment doesn't stem from beating the game, but okay. rather mastering it. The thing about difficult games is that they tend to grow on you, but... Is it the challenge that makes them so exciting, or rather the artistry hiding beneath? I'm gonna play that cuphead. Ah. I think that was a good video. Uh, that made a lot of sense. I... <sighs> I'm really excited to play Bloodborne. Let me say that right now. I'm very excited to play that. Uh, I think it's gonna be a really good game. And uh, I am going to have to play it on a controller, unfortunately. Uh, watch more. Uh, watch more of his videos. I've never seen any of this guy's videos, honestly. Uh, so it, it's very new to me. Uh, move or vote at AFK? Don't worry, I'm moving. Like, I, I'm pretending to be part of the... Uh, I'm pretending not to be AFK. Uh, don't worry about it. Play Witcher 3? Oh, yeah, I want to play that, too. Uh, I just, like... McConnell, did you watch the video? No. Okay. Well, what do you think about multiple difficulties? Like, do you think they're good for games or bad? It depends on what game it is, what kind of game, whatever. It just depends. I mean, I can't say, like, multiple difficulties is good for everything. Like, what do you want me to say? Well, I mean, it depends, right? I mean, obviously it depends, but I was asking your opinion. I think it's fine. I mean, they're shitters, they're mediocre players, and then there's fucking experts. You can't have just like one fucking difficulty for all three. What for about all Dark types Souls? of different players. Dark Souls has that. Yeah, and it's known as like one of the hardest fucking games. I mean, it gets its reputation for a reason. You think that's bad? Uh no, I mean I would like it if there are more difficult games, you know, that punish players and force them to fucking, you know, rage quit streams or whatever, but you know, it can't all be like that. I guess, yeah. I mean, I just feel like there's so many games nowadays that are just so focused around, like, allowing people to, like, experience the story that it ceases really to become a game. Like, to me, it just doesn't really feel like it's a game at all. It's just, like, basically a reward simulator. And that's basically what's happened. 